why don't we uh, get set up and let's get ready to go. All right, we got a No More Heroes, High Tech Weaponry, a Sonic Astro Form, Pure Fury, and a Cloak of Levitation. So, um, as of this recording, actually, they put out some brand new rules, the new What If Core Set just came out, and one of them is actually a Mulligan rule. If two rare cards, or seven cards that cost seven or more, appear in the HQ, we can actually remove these, get them replaced until there aren't either. So we're gonna take advantage of that. Okay, we have a Battlefield promotion and a class dismissed, and we're gonna shuffle these two back into the hero deck. Okay, take a look at the HQ though. Um, we don't really have support for high tech weaponry as of right now. Battlefield promotion can go on either. Static Astral Form, we don't have a ton of support. We just have a class dismissed, but we do have a cloak of levitation, which can fit with it pretty well. I think class dismissed is gonna be sort of a high priority card. So when the, when the first Master Strike for of Epic Dark Phoenix goes off, we have to reveal the top card of this. And we're going to KO all, all the cards with that with, the, with that uh, color. There is um, a significant amount of um, instinct cards in this deck, so more than likely the first one's going to take that color out. But I think Classes I think Classes Mist is definitely worth picking up, and hopefully we can get a little bit of support for it before that color is completely destroyed. So we'll see how it goes. All right, we're going to have a Mile Stars out, and we'll get the game going. Okay, looks like we're starting out with a classic four and two. Top card is gonna be, we have the Sapien League, three attack. When we fight them, we get to KO one of our heroes, then reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it is a henchman, we get to play it. So we get a little, get a little peek to see what's coming. That's pretty good. Okay, looks like we're just gonna be playing out for four. And I think what we're gonna do, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna pick up this battle for promotion. We're gonna see it do some work for us. And let's get that replaced with a legendary commander. Interesting. So, Miles could move into a Nick Fury Iron Man deck, kind of a tech-based one, and if we can pick up this Legendary Commander nice and early, hmm, interesting. Okay, we're going to pass it on over. All right, pass it on over. Looks like um, Harrison's going to have a 5 and one Top card is going to be Immortal and Undefeated, so um, that's just a 12-attack just a villain, basically. Okay, well, let's play it for 5. So... I think, yeah, we want Miles to grab these. So I think these are the ones that are kind of on deck. So I think what we're going to do, let's spend three of it. Let's grab Class Dismissed here. We want to be able to pick, we want definitely want one of those, and hopefully we can get a little bit more um, instinct support here. Okay, we do have an Arc Reactor, which could go pretty good well in Harrison's deck. So at least at least we have a nice little divide here, which is great. Let's spend two. Let's pick up Sonic Astral Form. It goes well with our Class Dismissed here. And let's replace it with a Repulsor Ray. Yeah, no, this is working out pretty, this is coming out pretty well. And that just wraps up. All right, we have another four and two. Top card is going to be, got ourselves Xavier's Nemesis. So it's an eight attack, eight attack, uh, let's see, what are they called? They're um, Tyrant, a Tyrant villain. Okay, looks like let's play out for four. And I think we're just gonna have to pick up, uh, let's pick up this high-tech weapon right here. It's just gonna give two attack, and if it's activated by a tech here, we do get plus one attack. So we'll be able to activate it for right now, but looks like we have Quantum Breakthrough, it's Iron Man's rare card. And I think that should wrap up. All right, pass it over to Harrison got a three and three. Top card is going to be another Sapien League. Not too shabby. Well, we do have three attack and three recruit to work with. So I think what we're going to do, let's see. Yeah, let's spend three. We could pick up this Repulsor Ray here. It doesn't really fit with the other Iron Man cards, but it does work well with our Sonic Astral Form we have. And let's get it replaced with a Fight the Future. Okay, we got another Instinct card, which is great. Um, with this three, let's take out the Sapien League. And then we do get to KO one of our heroes. And normally I actually like KO my troopers early, but at this point, but at this point, I think we need a bunch of attack early. I think that's kind of the big stressor. So I think I'm gonna actually get rid of one of my agents. And then we get to reveal the top card here. And it's not a uh, it's not a uh, henchman, so we won't we won't play it, but it is a it's another um, tyrant villain, which isn't fun. And that should wrap us up. Alright, passing over two miles here, got the three and three. Top card is going to be got the onslaught. So, it's a, so we, we got one of each. We have three three tired villains in the city and one of each of the masterminds, which is just great. <laughs> it's, it's been three and three. Okay, so we can't grab anything from the HQ, which is a little rough. I am kind of tempted just to pick up a um, an officer here, honestly. Let's see. I think I'm. I think that's what I'm going to do. Actually, I think we're just gonna grab ourselves an officer. Grab ourselves a standard one. Okay, and then we have three attack here. We're gonna spend that. Let's take care of the, the Sapien League here. Uh, we'll do the same thing. We're gonna KO an operative. We wanna keep at least our attack, at least a little, you know, a little higher in the early game for right now. 
uh, and we get to reveal the top card, and it's going to be a trap. It's going to be a psychic surrog. Uh, was it psychic psychic uh, subjugation? And that should wrap us up. Okay, passing over to Harrison here. All right, top card is going to be that psychic subjugation. So by the end of the, end of the turn, recruit the leftmost, leftmost, and rightmost here in the HQ. Very low chance of that actually occurring. Um, uh, so our suffer each of those heroes uh, you, you didn't recruit enter the city as a villain with attack equal to the hero's cost when you fight fight it gain it okay well that doesn't sound exciting at all let's play out here we have three attack and it looks like we have two three four five five recruits so I could potentially bury the legendary commander so it doesn't enter as a, as a villain but sometimes that makes it a little easier to take on so let's see oh, let's see if I play the class dismissed what would I want to bury? Um, I can pick any of them. Quantum Breakthrough is pretty dang strong. Fight the Future is pretty dang strong. And Cloak of Levitation. Let's see. This is a common, so we could do the Cloak of Levitation and get something else because all of these are actually the uncommons. I think we're yeah. Let's. I think we're gonna bury the Cloak of Levitation, and let's get that replaced with a Repulsor Ray. Okay, we do have five to work with. I think we could grab the Fight the Future here. Yeah, let's spend that. Let's do Fight the Future. I'll go away with our class dismissed. Yeah, come on, you. There we go. All right, let's get that replaced with a Repulsor Ray. And I think that's going to wrap us up. So, um, actually, I guess both... Oh, crap. That wasn't very smart. I guess now both of these are going to enter the city. Because I recruited this one. I guess I could... Nah, that was kind of dumb on my part. Nah, I think I'm gonna take that back. This this game is gonna be harder, gonna be just as hard anyway. So, technically, so I would recruit this. This would go here. I would have two recruit left over. I would use that just to get a sidekick, get myself a throg. There we go, and that should wrap us up. But this legendary commander is going to enter as a villain. Let's get that replaced with a telepathic probe. This will go away. Okay, that'll wrap us up. All right, passing over to Miles. Top card is going to be a random ambush. Ran uh, random dominates the top card of the hero deck. Then each player reveals their hand and chooses one of the heroes with the same cost. Random dominates those heroes. Okay, so he's going to get a six cost, and I don't, and I'm 99% sure I don't have any of those. <sighs> yeah, I'll double check for Harrison. Yeah, we're set and ready to go. Okay, so let's play the battlefield promotion. We're going to KO. Let's see. Okay, you may KO it. I, uh, uh, but by the way, I'm, I'm, these are going to be interchangeable, just so you all know. I'm just because I usually just play these just to identify the two hands, but technically they're all the same thing. So uh, let's see. So we're going to KO. Let's see. You may put your shield. Okay. So I'm going to KO one of these and I'm going to get myself a shield officer into my hand. And ooh, looks like we got a Yo Yo Rodriguez. Not too bad. You may send this hero undercover or put on top of your deck. Interesting. Okay. Sounds good. Let's play out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We're up to six recruit. And I could have grabbed one of those legendary commanders, but I didn't. <laughs> okay, so um, what do I want on this side of things? I think I, yeah, I think I just want to go down to one. Let's grab this arc reactor. Let's get that replaced with a high-tech weaponry. And that should wrap us up, and that uh, apocalypse is more than likely going to escape, unfortunately. All right, passing over to Harrison. Top card is going to be a nemesis. So five attack. Ambush, each player reveals their hand and chooses one of their non-gray heroes. Nemesis dominates those heroes. Oof. So he is going to be grabbing my Sonogastro form. And looks like he's going to be grabbing the high-tech weaponry from Miles here. Okay, so this, so Apocalypse is going to escape. This random is going to go over here. And Nemesis is going to go to here. Okay, so we have to KO a card from the HQ. I think we can get rid of one of these Repulsor Rays. Replace with a Class Dismissed. It's pretty dang good. Um, and that is one Tyrant that has escaped. So that's one down right here. We only need five before we lose. Two of them more than likely will be escaping here soon. Okay, let's play out. We have three attack and two, or the three recruit and two attack. Can't do much about the city at this moment. And with a three, oof. Uh, I think we're just gonna grab this Class Dismissed. Let's get that replaced with a Battlefield Promotion. And I think that's going to wrap us up. Alright, passing over. Top card is going to be 
got ourselves a Harry Leland, the Black Bishop. He has an ambush. Uh, heroes are going to cost one more to recruit this turn, which is not good. If he escapes, the same thing happens. So Magneto is going to escape. So we just over. And looks like it's going to be five. Okay, so that's going to escape. So it's going to go up to two. We have to KO a card from the HQ. Uh, probably won't be able to recruit too many things. I think we can get rid of this Battle for Promotion. We really just don't need a bunch of those. Replace it with the Battle for Promotion. So there you go. <laughs> Okay, um, I actually can't recruit anything from the HQ. So we're just gonna grab ourselves a sidekick, got ourselves a new recruit, and that should wrap us up. Okay, pass it over. Top card is gonna be Havoc Brainwash. Six attack, uh, when we fight him, we do gain, gain it. Uh, escape, Havoc becomes a hero do dominated by the mastermind, and he has an X and when we get gain him, it's two attack, X gain of range, you get plus two attack, not too bad. Looks like Onslaught is going to escape, and we are over halfway there to losing. And we have to KO a card. I think we're just going to get rid of another battle for promotion. And we have Fight the Future to replace it. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I can't activate this, so I'm going to play this for two. Man, I think I need to I need to try and lower the cost of all this. So I think we're going to actually get rid of Telepathic Probe. Let's get that replaced with a Last Survivor. That's good. That's, that's pretty good, actually. So that's two. Then we can go one, two, go up to four, five, six, and seven. Right? Four, five, six, seven. Once per well, once this turn, if you made at least six recruit, you get plus two attack. So not too bad for Throg. And that'll go up to three. Still can't do much with that though, unfortunately. But we do have seven here. And actually that works. Let's see. The problem so we have a quantum breakthrough we could pick up, but it doesn't fit exactly with what I'm doing. I'm not collecting the tech cards to do it. It does just draw us two cards, but I think I'm going to be passing on it. Um, I think what we're going to do, five, six, seven. Man. Yeah, I think we're going to go down to two. Let's pick up this uh, Fight the Future. And here, I'm going to move this before I forget. And then we'll spend two and get ourselves a sidekick. Got ourselves a standard one. And I think it's going to wrap us up. All right, passing over to Miles. Oops, replace that with Fight the Future. All right, top card is going to be a random. So ambush, he's going to, uh, let's see. So he's going to dominate the top card of the hero deck, a loner. Um, then each player reveals their hand, she's one of their heroes with the same cost. So a five, so we're good there. Looks like we're good on Harrison's side as well. So he does, doesn't get anything extra, which is great. Looks like the legendary, this legendary commander is going to escape though. Hate to see it go. Okay. Man, our attack, our attack values are just not where we, where we want them right now. Okay, well, let's play our battle for promotion. We're going to KO an operative, an operative from a discard pile. Gonna get ourselves a, an officer. Got ourselves a standard one into my hand. We'll then play out here. Looks like we have five recruit and two attack. Okay, with the five, um, we could just pick up a high-tech weaponry. That's not too bad of an idea. Let's go down to two. Let's grab one. Let's get that replaced with a endless invention. I like seeing that. Then let's spend two. Let's grab a sidekick. Got ourselves a standard one. And I think that's gonna wrap us up. All right, passing on over to Harrison. Top card is gonna be Sebastian Shaw, the Black King. Three attack, Sebastian Shaw gets plus one attack for each card you've played this uh, from your hand this turn. If he escapes, each player is gonna gain a wound. Looks like Random is going to escape along with our second copy of Legendary Commander, which is rough to see. Okay. And then we have to KO a card from the HQ. I think we can get rid of one of these fight from the future, fight the future maybe? I don't know, that's such a powerhouse, that's so good but we do need to reduce the cost of the HQ a little bit. Okay, got it. trust me, I'm a doctor. Okay, I think we can actually dish out a little damage here. So let's play like this. We can also bottom a card. I think we can, I'm gonna bottom this. I, this actually isn't one of my favorite cards and, and it's gonna replace with Battle for Promotion. So it's two, we're gonna go up to four. This one's gonna go four, uh, five, six, six attack, not too bad. Okay, should be able to do something with that. Okay, so we can't actually hit, we can't hit Nemesis, because he's dominating two things. Random's got one. So we could actually, we could gain Loner, 
We could fight, ha ah, that's probably not too bad of an idea actually. Yeah, let's spend six, let's hit Havoc here because we do, we, we'll, we take him out and we gain him. And he has a pretty good relevant ability. I have a bunch of uh, ranged cards, which is great. Okay, with this four, I think we're gonna go down to one. Let's grab this last survivor. And let's get that replaced with a Sonic Astro form. And I think that's gonna wrap us up. All right, passing over to Miles here. Top card is going to be a Sapien Leak. Okay, it's not too bad. Okay, let's see. So let's just play out our recruit here. That's four, five. Uh, that's four, five, and six. And we could put Yo-Yo -Yo back on top. I think we're, yeah, I think we're going to do that. We're gonna put that on top, and we'll play this out for four attack. Not too shabby. Okay, with the six. Um, let's see. I was kind of banking on those legendary commanders, so I'm a little thrown off, honestly. I think we're let's go down to three. Let's just keep the tech train going. Let's pick up an endless invention. Now let's get that replaced with another one. Yeah, we'll spend three. We'll grab a second one. Class dismissed. Not too bad. Okay. Four attack. Um, let's see. So we definitely can't fight him. I should, let's see. I don't think I could have anyway because he would have got four. Yeah, that wouldn't work. Okay, so we, it looks like we can just hit the Sapien League. So let's take them out. We're going to KO a Hydra Operative. And the top card is an on, is Onslaught, so we don't, so we don't play it from that ability. And I think that's going to wrap us up. All right, passing over to Harrison. Man, this is, this is getting a little rough. <laughs> Top card is going to be an onslaught. Okay, so we have four recruit to work with. I think I really need to get my attack damage up. So I'm going to spend two. Let's grab Cyan Gastral Form. Replace that with a Battlefield Promotion. I think I'm going to spend two and just grab myself a sidekick. Got myself a standard one. And I think that's going to wrap me up. Okay, passing over to Miles here. Top card is going to be another Onslaught. Okay, so Nemesis is going to escape. Let me just double check something. Okay, so Nemesis is going to escape. Scooch everything over. I think we're going to KO one of these Battlefield promotions. Replace with, trust me, I'm a doctor. Okay, well, let's play our Battlefield promotion. We're going to KO... Let's just KO. We're gonna KO this operative, and we're gonna put get ourselves an officer. Ooh, nice. Okay, we got a GW GW bridge to to recruit. You may discard a card if you do draw a card. It's not too shabby. Let's do the sidekick. We're gonna draw two extra cards. Not bad. Ooh, okay. So let's play this. We're gonna go up to two. Let's play Yo Yo. We're gonna go up to four. We're gonna put this on top of the top. We're gonna play GW Bridge, going up to six. We're gonna discard an operative to draw a card. Draw on the yo-yo. Let's play that, going up to eight. And then it looks like we have four here. That's up to five, so I still can't do much with that. Um, let's see. Yes, yeah, let's see. No, no, I want this. What am I saying? Yeah, let's go down to one. Let's grab a Quantum Breakthrough. So we have a lot of card draw in this deck, which is amazing. And replace with a loner. And the four attack, we actually can't do anything with it, so yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna pass it on over. Do I want to put Yo-Yo back on top? I think I think we're gonna put her in the put her in the discard pile. We need we need attack for sure. Okay, passing over to Harrison. All right, top card is gonna be a scheme twist. Okay, that's the first one we're gonna have so far. So put this twist under it under the villains. It's gonna be a plus two. Okay, so this is gonna go up to twelve now. Okay. All right, let's do um, Havoc Brainwashed. Let's see, he does, yep, I have one range card in my discard pile. So it's gonna be four attack. We can play Repulse Array going one, two, and three. And then going up to eight with this. Okay, now let's see, before I play those, cause Shaw does a bunch of weird stuff. Three, four, five, six. So I could take him out for six. I could hit Loner. Yeah, I think I might want to do that actually. Five, six, seven, eight. That would mean three, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, I can only hit one thing, and I'm not really stressed about him, and I'm not too stressed about him. Yeah, let's go at five, six, seven, eight. Let's go down to three, and I think I'm gonna take out this random actually, and I'm going to gain myself the loner. Let's see. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, now let's play the class dismissed. Is there anything I wanna bury? Let's put, yeah, let's do trust, trust me, I'm a doctor. Replace with, good, cloak of levitation, I like that. And let's play that over four. Okay, I think, yeah, let's spend four. Let's grab cloak of levitation. Let's get that replaced with a repulsor ray. And I think that's gonna wrap us up. All right, passing over. It's not looking too shabby. Top card is going to be another scheme twist. Okay, so let's, um, do I just want to make one really big one? Um, let's, let's, let's try and spread it out. Okay, so we have two 12s now. Um, yeah, let's play the new recruit. Let's draw a card. Got ourselves Endless Invention. Let's play that. Draw a card. Another one. There we go. Okay, here we go. Let's play that. Drawing two. Got Yo-Yo and Battlefield Promotion. Not too bad. We do have one attack right now. Okay, let's play this. We're gonna KO that. Grab ourselves a standard shield officer. We'll play that going to two. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think those soldiers are gonna be doing much this game. Yeah, we can't hit anything with that. So it looks like we're just gonna focus on recruit two, three, Four, five. We're up to five, and I could bounce that if I'd like to. I don't think I'm going to, though. Um, let's see. Let's spin the five. Let's grab a loner. Let's get that replaced with a trust me, I'm a doctor. And that should wrap us up. All right, let's pass it over to Harrison. Top card is going to be... Ooh, this is uh, Mastermind, Jason Wingard. Ambush. This villain ascends to become a new Mastermind. He gains the ability Master Strike. Each player simultaneously reveals a non-gray hero Mastermind. Uh, non-gray hero. Mastermind dominates the revealed hero with the highest cost. Not too bad, actually. So let's get that scooch. He's going to enter and turn into a second Mastermind, which is very fitting. Very th on, on theme, actually. <laughs> Okay, let's um, let's see. Let's do the sidekick. We're gonna play that. Actually, we're wrong, wrong pile. We'll draw two cards. Yeah, so I think we're gonna play the class dismissed first. We're gonna bury. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Replace with another. Trust me, I'm a doctor. I should be get, get rid of all those pretty soon. Um, okay, let's play fight for the future. Let's give me three attack. It's ability plus two and may fight for the long term. Okay, three attack. Uh, let's see. We got ourselves a villain, which is great. We'll leave that revealed on top, actually. Go up to five attack. We'll play last survivor. Go up to seven attack. And you may KO a card from your hand or discard pile. If it is a wound, I can draw a card. Um, I think I'll just KO one of these agents. Let's play Sanic Astro Form. We're going one, two, and three. Repulse Array, one, uh, two, three. And that go up to 14. Not too bad. So I, even if I did double buff him, I could have. I could hit it, which is pretty dang cool. Let's go down to two and let's take out this guy. All right, there we go. That's what I like to see. Okay, and with this two, I think I'm just gonna grab myself a sidekick. Got ourselves a rock slide. That's pretty good, actually. It'll shatter a villain. They could shatter that down to half health. That's pretty sweet. And that should wrap us up. Okay, passing over two. Miles, top card is going to be this, this uh, Fatale. Five attack, when we fight her, KO one of your heroes. If he escapes, the mastermind dominates the top card of the hero deck. Okay, so we can discard a card, draw a card. Need B, I think we are gonna do something like that though. Let's play GW Bridge. Let's just discard one of these officers to draw a card. Give us two, eh, that was strictly a downgrade. Let's play the high-tech weaponry. That should give us two attack. And then we're going to play uh, Quantum Breakthrough. It's going to let us draw four cards. Okay, draw our four cards here. Okay, let's do an Endless Invention. We're going to draw two cards. Not too shabby. Let's play the new Recruit. Go up to three. We'll put that away. We get to draw a card. Got ourselves a yo-yo. Okay, well, it looks like we're not going to get any more tech, right? So let's play our arc reactor. We're going three, four, five, six. So it's currently at two, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're at eight so far. Let's play that going up to nine. Play that going to ten. Let's play the battlefield promotion. We're going to KO that, get ourselves an officer. 
standard one. Let's play all this out. Four, two, four, six, eight. Eight, going to ten. Okay. So we can't hit you. And I, man, I always forget to do that. I really need to do that. Um, let's spend ten. So we're going to take you out. And let's see. And then we're also going to take uh, you out, which is Tally. We get to KO one of our cards. I think we're going to KO this officer. And I'm actually going to send Yo Yo Rodriguez undercover. Okay, so I have 10 recruit. Let's see. We're basically, we're basically tech slash. Um, we're going to do some shield stuff, but I don't think that's going to be happening anymore. So I think we're going to go. I think we might need to start pushing into some of this instinct realm, I would say. So I think we're going to spend, we're going to go down to seven. Let's grab class dismissed. Replace with high tech weaponry. That's not bad. I think we're going to, let's, let's pick that up. It goes with what I'm doing right now. And a last survivor. I think we can go down to one. Let's pick that one up as well. All right, let's pass it on over. All right, pass it on over. I haven't gotten really close at all to hit. Well, I got close one time to hitting a, uh, Dark Phoenix, I really, I guess I had eight. I could have hit that, it's okay. Okay, top card is gonna be a Scheme Twist. So we're gonna to to hook that up to you. That's currently the third Scheme Twist, right? So let's see, let's put that, that there. Let's put this over here, okay. Let's do, let's play the Sidekick. We're gonna draw two cards. Ugh, not, too, not, not the best, I would say. Let's play the Class Dismissed. Yeah, let's just get rid of the I'm the Doctor. Replaced with Endless Invention. And let's see, I guess can't do anything with this. One, two, three. three. Yeah, okay, that's not gonna work. Okay, so two, three, four, five, and six recruit. Okay. Yeah, let's go down to one. I think we're to fight the future. I just really feel like it's gonna it's gonna give us five attack pretty dang often. Replaced with rage out. That should wrap us up. Alright, pass it on over. Top card is going to be a Master Strike. Okay, this is the first one. So, KO the top card. Okay. Oof. Okay, it was a Covert, actually. This is Dr. Strange's rare card. Interesting. Okay, so I need to go through and get rid of all the Covert cards. Do I have I don't think I have a bunch of those. So, do, 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 card in here, deck. Let's just color with it. Okay, so I got to go through and get all the all the Covert cards out of here. Okay, we only actually, actually KO'd th three things. We did lose uh, two of our loners, though. Okay, then we have a bunch of other stuff. So then each player, this is a Hellfire card from the Victor pile into the pile. Okay, let's see, so. None in that pile. Looks like we just have one, which is uh, Harry Leland, and everything's gonna cost one extra this turn. And we have to reveal a horror, which is gonna be Misery Pond Misery. Whenever you play a by, whenever you play a bystander from the villain deck, play another card from the villain deck. Okay. That's not too shabby. I'm just going to keep that off screen right over there. Okay. Well, let's play Endless Invention. We're going to draw a card. We got ourselves Endless Invention. Let's play that. We'll draw two cards. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all, actually. Okay. Let's play Loner. I'll get an extra two attack if I decide not to recruit anything this turn. That Endless Invention is just sitting there. Um, but let's see. We'll see if we need it. Two, three, four up to four play this for two and we can ko a card we will ko yeah i think we're gonna ko the operative yeah i think we're just gonna go up to we're gonna go up to eight so we're not gonna recruit anything this turn let's see we have four five six seven eight and then three plus three four five thirteen not too shabby actually ah crap he's a dang, he's a 14 isn't he that's terrible okay um in that case one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. Let's go down to two. Let's just take out you. Just don't have to stress about you anymore. And I think that's gonna wrap us up. All right, passing over to Harrison. Top card is gonna be Master Strike. Okay, here we go. All right, man. Okay, we have to go through and get rid of all of our instinct cards in here. Okay, we're losing quite a bit here. We lost, I mean, the Trust Me Doctor isn't too bad, but losing the class is Mrs. Ruff, the other two last survivors, and deck's looking pretty thin. This is getting, I'm getting real nervous here. Um, and then there's, oh wait, oh wait, oops. Then we have to play out one of these, and then we have to get a new horror, which is gonna be 
Plots upon plots. Whenever you complete a scheme twist, play another card from the villain deck. Okay. Okay, I do have a ranged card in my discard pile, so we can play this for four. Um, let's play this for eight. So we can't recruit anything, which is fine. Let's play Cloak of Levitation, go up to ten. Top card is going to be an agent. I think we'll just teleport that. And then play this for twelve. So we can't take you out. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. So we can't hit both, which is fine. So I think we're just going to take you out. So I don't have to worry about you. And that should wrap us up. All right, pass that one over. Top card is going to be a Sapien League. Okay, so I think we're going to do... Hmm, okay, let's play GW Bridge. We're going to discard the Battlefield Promotion to draw a card. That's not bad. Let's play the high-tech weaponry. So we're at 2 and 2. And then we'll play Quantum Breakthrough. We're going to draw four cards. Alrighty. Not too shabby. Let's play the Endless Invention. We're going to draw two cards. Okay, more attack. Let's play High Tech Weaponry. It's going to get us up to five. We'll play all of these out for four. One, or five. One, two, three, and four. And then let's play all of these. Two, four, six. So we're going to go up to eight. And I could bury something if need be, which I think I'm going to do. Let's do, um, let's do Battle for Promotion. Oh, actually, hold on. Is this, um... And, okay, it just chaos from the hero deck, not the ones in the HQ. Okay, so, man, let's see. I think we're going to go... Let's go down to two. Let's pick up Endless Invention and High Tech Weaponry. Got ourselves a Cloak of Levitation and another Endless Invention. With this nine, we can't take him out. Five, six, seven, eight. We can do that. We'll go down to one. We're gonna take out both of these. So he goes uh, here. He goes here. Let's KO. Let's start KO on the officers, actually. And the next card is gonna be a Fatality, so we don't have to stress about that too much. And that should wrap us up. Okay, not too shabby here, I would say. Got an extra card from the Cloak of Levitation last, the Cloak of Levitation last time. All right, the Vitaly. Okay, let's see. Let's play. I guess I do have a way to draw a card. Let's see. So let's play Class Dismissed. Let's bottom. I really don't want to be handing out a bunch of wounds, so I'm gonna have bottom that and go with a Repulsor Ray. It's not too bad. To recruit. Let's do, let's see, let's play Sonic Astro Form, giving us three. Let's then play the Cloak of Levitation, go up to five. Next card is going to be an Agent. I think I'm just going to teleport that. Play this for three, play this for six, play this for nine, play this for five, four, four right? No, five. For five, and I can I can bury and KO a card. Uh, we could do the discard pile, actually. Oh, no, 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 we can't, actually. Uh, here, I'm going to take this one back so I can KO it. Okay. Okay, let's spend the four on Scrape Cloaking Levitation. And with this, we're going to go down to four. Let's take you out, and we get to KO one of our heroes. Let's get rid of Trooper. And, oops, replace that with a Endless Invention. And then that should wrap us up. Okay, here we go. It's not too bad. Top card is going to be a Corrupt the Phoenix Force. So by the end of the turn, have no Hellfire villains in the city. You should be good there. Don't even have to stress about the other, other half. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, we can play Battle for Promotion. And let's see if we can KO... Let's see. I think we're just going to... What we're going to do, we're actually going to KO the shield officer. We're going to gain a shield officer. So net zero, basically. Okay. Doesn't look like I can do much here. Most I can do is play this. And we're going to go with four. So we don't don't get to do any recruiting because we get four from this. Then, let's see. Let's play Last Survivor. Going up to... Oops, wrong one. I'm at six here. Go up to six. I can KO a card from my hand or discard pile. We're just going to KO one of these officers. Or here, let's see. I guess I don't really need them. Nah, I don't really need them. 
Okay, let's see. Six, seven, eight, nine. I could get up to ten, which really isn't gonna do anything. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna play this going up to seven, eight, and nine. And I still have this left over. Let's play. Yeah. All right, drawing two. Okay, not too bad. 10, 11, 12, 13. Nope, oh, still one short, unfortunately. So I think it's gonna wrap us up. All right, passing over to Harrison. Oh, this is, that was fulfilled. Top card is gonna be a Harley, uh, a Harry Leland. So all cards are gonna cost one extra this turn. Um, man, three, four, and five. So we can't even do that. Um, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna hold off on that actually, because we could just spend, we can just do this and take out Harry Leland. And then with a three, I think that's gonna wrap us up. All right, passing over to Her Miles. Top card is going to be a Master Strike. Okay, here we go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, we got ourselves ranged. Okay, let's go through and get rid of all the ranged cards. All right, there's all our ranged cards gone, which isn't looking good at all. Um, it looks like we're going to have two Harry Leland's enter, actually. So everything's going to cost two more this round. And we have to draw a horror, which is surprise attack. Play two cards from the villain deck. Woof. Uh, we have a we have an apocalypse tyrant, and we have a magneto tyrant. Okay. Oh boy, chances are not looking good, guys. Four, five, eight, five. Yeah, so let's play endless invention. Drawing a card. Got ourselves a quantum breakthrough. Let's play that for four. Alrighty, not too shabby, I would say. Let's do endless invention and draw two cards. Oh, nice, not too bad. Okay, let's see what we got here. So let's get the tech out of the way. Let's play both of those. That's going to give us six attack. Let's play arc reactor, going up to nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Not too shabby. And we'll play that going up to sixteen. Let's play, let's see. Let's play that for two. Let's discard. Let's discard this battle for promotion to draw a card. Got ourselves endless invention. Not too bad. Play that to draw two cards. Nice. Let's play that for an additional three. One, two, and three. And let's see. Let's play uh Clastus Miss. Go up to four. Let's bottom. Let's just bottom of the endless inventory. I don't think that matters. Replace with a pure fury. It's not bad. I'm gonna play that for two. We get to KO a card. I think we're gonna get rid of the officer and go in that up to two. Okay. Kind of tempted to hit. Let's see, I, I should I should take care of him actually. Eight. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen. 14, 15. Wait, can I do both? 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20. That's kind of crazy. So I can take you out. And I can take out Jason Wingard. It's not bad at all. Alright. Okay, he's gone. Okay, so that should be all of our attack, which is pretty dang impressive. And looks like I can still recruit if I'd like to. I think let's just go down to one. Let's just grab Endless Invention. Just to keep the comfort and replace it with Arc Reactor. And I think that's going to wrap us up. All right, pass it on over. Top card's going to be a Magneto. Okie dokie. I think we are going to play this and we're just going to not go into attack. So we're to four. Let's play Last Survivor, Killing the Agent. Let's play this. Which is four, going up to ten. Let's play this for one, two, and three. And then if it's a villain, it is, it gets an additional two. Fifteen attack to deal with. What do we want? 
Yeah, so I think we're gonna do, we're gonna go down, we're gonna spend all of it but two. We're gonna hit this Magneto, and we're gonna hit this Harry Leland. Yeah, I like that, I like that. Okay, that's gonna wrap us up. All right, here we go, pass over to Miles. Top card is gonna be that Sebastian Shaw. Okie dokie, let's see. So yeah, let's play that for four. We're not going to attack. Let's play endless and then endless. So we're gonna draw three cards. Alrighty, let's see. Let's play all of these. Three, six, and nine, right? And then we're gonna go up to 13. And then we're gonna play the three attack. Go up to 16. Okay, 16. That's not too bad. I think. Yeah, I think we're going to go on to one and we're going to hit Dark Phoenix here for the first time. Let's see. All right, we got ourselves. Worship me as a god. Each other player gains two zero cost cards from the KO pile. That's just brutal as not. Okay, let's see. It's probably just true because it's zero cost. Well, there we go. And what do they, uh, let's see, do they add to my deck? Yep, gains too. Yep. All right. Okay, I think it's going to wrap us up. All right, passing over to Harrison. Top card is going to be a Master Strike. Okay, here we go. <sighs> this is looking good, boys. All right, top card is going to be a High Tech McFury. So all the tech cards, here we go. Which is only two left, so we're good. Okay, let's play our Havoc. And then both of our Repulsor Rays. So these are six, seven, eight. Eight attack. And we'll go for nine. And then two residents. Okay, let's spend the two. Let's just grab a sidekick. Got ourselves a hairball. And the nine attack. We can't hit Dark Phoenix, but we can take out this Magneto. That should wrap us up. All right, passing over to Miles. Top card is going to be, got ourselves a Sapien League. Okay. Let's go with, let's, see, let's play, let's play the bridge, go up to two. We'll ditch the princess promotion and draw a card. Got ourselves a soldier. Let's play this for two. Well, it's one really. Okay. Um, then let's play, let's see. You're, cl you're a classes mist. Let's see, we can bottom a card. Let's bottom the repulsor ray. The chances are looking mighty slim. Um, let's see, buried. Now we have to KO. Let's KO one of these soldiers. Let's play this for three. Let's play this for three. Then we're gonna plus one for each tech card we play, which is one, go up to seven. Okay, seven and two. And then 12 30, I got this, I got this. I'm ready to lose. <laughs> really, I almost can't buy anything. It's really rough. Okay, here we go. Um, I think we're gonna go down to two. Let's just take out this guy. And the two recruit. Let's just grab a sidekick. Standard one, and that should wrap us up. All right, passing over to Harrison. Top card is gonna be a Havoc Brainwashed. Okay. Let's see, let's play this for four. Uh, don't throw a tam temper tantrum either. Okay, let's play this for two. Let's bury the loner status. Okay, this is going to go one, two, and three, right? And then we reveal the top card. Nothing. Let's play that for nine. I'm not sure about that. Oh, let's go three for it. All right, I don't 
think we'll be able to do much of the five though. We really can't just start recruiting willy nilly here, which is rough. Um, let's see, I played one, two, three. Well, let's see, I played one, two, three, four. Okay, so I don't think we're gonna play the rock slide because I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna spend six, we're gonna take out this Havoc and gain it, and we're gonna spend three and hit the Sapien League. Decay one of our cards, we'll get rid of an agent. And next card is gonna be a bystander, okay. With five, I feel like I just can't recruit, so I'm just gonna pass. All right, passing to Miles. Got that card draw, I think we'll be able to hit, hit her this turn. Okay, let's get the bystander, and let's see what it is. Whenever you play a bystander for the villain deck, play another card for the villain deck. So we gotta do the second one. Got ourselves a crushing shockwave, eight. Okay, let's see. Let's start with high tech and lonely. It's gonna give me six attack. Okay, we're just gonna play both of these. We're gonna draw six cards. Three, four, five, six. Okay, let's play. We're gonna play those, draw four more. Four. Let's play that to draw the last two. Okay, so this is my entire deck in hand. Okay. So we should be able to just start playing stuff. So let's play that for two. Ooh, let's see, hold on. No, 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 we can start KO and stuff too, actually. So two, um, let's see, I'm not, I'm not gonna bury anything for right now. Okay, let's see, let's KO. I don't know. Well, let's get rid of the Battlefield promotion. We don't need that for sure. And that Psychic can come in handy, I guess. Okay, let's play the last Survivor. And let's KO the JW Bridge. Okay. Not too bad, so it's gonna go up to eight. It's not gonna do anything right now. So let's see, we're gonna play both of those. It's gonna give me six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Then let's play the last three. One, two, three. Or yeah, one, two, three. Arc reactor is gonna give me three, going up to 20. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. An additional eight damage, not too bad. Okay, so pretty, Pretty close to almost hitting Dark Phoenix twice. So we're gonna go, we're going down to five here, which is gonna be six, uh, 13, so we have 13. Okay, let's hit Dark, Epic Dark Phoenix. Got ourselves, burn the world to ashes. Uh, each other player discards each card from their hand and has this, and the uh, other hand that has the same name as any card in the KO pile. Ooh, okay, uh, let's see. Okay, I know there's an agent and a trooper, so we'll definitely discard those. And I'll take a quick, just a quick peruse. <laughs> Dang, yeah, basically, yeah, all these are in the KO pile, so uh, he's just going to lose a whole turn, basically. But we're getting pretty close. Um, okay, let's see. Let's take out, let's go down to one, and let's take out this apocalypse one. Okay, and I think that's going to wrap us up. God, three cards in there. Okay, this is crazy. Okay, passing to Harrison. Top card's gonna be Emma Frost, the White Queen. Ambush, each player chooses a X-Men hero from their discard pile. Emma Frost dominates each of those heroes. So, let's see, from their discard pile. So actually, we don't have we don't have a discard pile on either of them, which is great. So, I'm just gonna pass over. Okay, I have to get, no, no, we should be, we should be set. Okay, top card is gonna be a Phoenix Force. Ambush, Phoenix Force dominates all the heroes in the HQ that cost six or Oh, no. Dang. And I lose. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Sorry if I was fading there just for a second. It, it's kind of late, but I was trying to wrap it up. But oh my gosh. I, I had kind of the formula. Oh my gosh, I had like the formula to beat her. I just had to get to Miles' turn every single time. Oh my goodness. I mean, put in some dang good effort there though. My goodness. Wow. I almost had it. I think did I over did I over recruit? I probably let's see. I don't think I over recruited for him. Let me look at Harrison's. I don't know. I feel like I didn't I feel like I wasn't over recruiting though. 
I guess I had a bunch of escapes that was that was KOing a bunch of bunch of uh, heroes, which is a little rough. That was probably part of it. Man, wow, what a crazy game! That was absolutely crazy. My goodness. Um, let's see. Um, I I'll have to figure out the turn count when I when I edit the video because I forgot to keep track of that. But we can check out the victory points. That should be good. Let's see. We should. They actually should be decently high. Let's see. Okay, so one two three four um let's see that's nine that's 14 that is um 14, 15, 17 20 24 uh plus seven is 31 31 um that is 34 35 36 sorry i hang up there so 36 points for that guy and there is six uh seven 14 14 uh that's gonna be 20 20, 26, 26 plus seven is gonna be um, 33, uh, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Not too impressive actually, 39. So about, uh, there's probably like 70 some of the points there between them. Dang, man, that was crazy. Man. Yeah, Dark Phoenix strikes again, my goodness. Well, anyway, guys, that was my uh, play of the Randomizer League. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, but yeah, just keep your heads up, and I'll see you next time.